It's always an exciting Imagine It segment when we get to wear the protective glasses. The chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, brings him with us every time we do something even slightly dangerous. Good morning to you. Looks nice on you. Thank you. Good. <laughs> so, you know, it's cold outside, right? Yeah. And you get out of bed, maybe your feet hit that warm carpet, insulating pockets of air. Ooh, the Keep future your feet is warm. today, yes. But then you walk into the bathroom and you hit that tile. Forget it. Conducts heat really well. How we perceive what something feels like in terms of temperature, a lot of times depends on the material it's made of. Okay. And the thermal conductivity of that material. Okay? And so, you know, carpet, good thermal insulator. Tile, mm -hmm. not so good. Metals, on the other hand, can be very good thermal conductors. Yes. And so I brought with me some liquid nitrogen here. And what we're gonna do is see how well a pipe, like this aluminum pipe, can conduct heat. Okay? But, but liquid nitrogen is cold. It is very, very cold, but this pipe has some heat from the room. Okay. Okay, and heat in its mass. And if we drop it into the liquid nitrogen, Whoa. it's gonna make the nitrogen boil vigorously. We're gonna get this great plume of nitrogen squirting Yikes. out the top of the pipe. All right, how as, about that? As the pipe begins to cool down, okay? Churn, my pretty. All that heat energy <laughs> going right down into the nitrogen, yeah. okay? nice getting your nitrogen to boil. Now, Tony, what I want you to do is put that glove on, that cryo glove. I'm gonna put this on. And you're gonna flip the pipe over. If you can like carefully pull it out and then invert it. Not fast. You no, know, it's, yeah, just be careful. Okay. There's some nitrogen there, so don't okay. splash us. Just put it back down in. Again, that end of the pipe was very hot. Wow. We're conducting some heat from the room into the liquid nitrogen. I can even feel it through my even glove. Even through the glove. Now, we're getting the pipe really, really cold because do you know where I'm going with this? It's, no. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an <laughs> aluminum pipe. It's very cold outside. Right. If I triple dog dared you to stick your tongue on oh, it. Oh, no. Should yeah. I? No, Should no, I no, no, no. Why don't you pull the pipe out of the nitrogen All right. and just lay it on the table. No. Hey. Now, it's, it's very, very cold. And luckily for you, I brought with me some tongues. I brought with me <laughs> some pig tongues. No. Okay? Now, that's a, this is a really interesting question, though, right? Of what happens if you have a tongue that has some saliva oh. on it and you apply it to a very cold device? <laughs> now, don't try this at home. That's why we have the stand-in oh, tongue here. Oh, man, I didn't even get a chance to warn anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's happening here? Tony, why don't you go ahead and lift that pipe sure, up? Sure, sure. And lift it vertical. Okay, lift all, it the all, way up. all the way up. And oh. I think what you're going to see oh, wow. is that the tongue will sort of stick. Yeah. And what you don't want to do <laughs> if this happens to you, you don't want to pull the tongue away too oh. too quickly. Oh, you ripped it off. Because you are going to rip some tissue off your tongue. And we actually talked to the Toledo Fire Department about this. And it's kind of a little bit of a myth <laughs> that they get calls about tongues sticking to poles. Oh. Okay, but it will. <laughs> it definitely will. So don't try that. And if it does happen, here's what you do. You get some warm liquid and oh, you just good apply know. some warm liquid. The tongue will come off. Does it matter what kind of liquid? Is that just water? Just water. Okay. Just any sort of warm water will mm. be perfect. And, and you can see how, how cold this pole is. Now, you'd probably never encounter a, a pole as cold as one that we cooled in liquid nitrogen. Right. But the safety <laughs> message, don't stick your hands or your tongue or anything on something that's very, very cold in the winter. Right. You'll freeze that water. Your flesh will be stuck to it. And you don't want to be in the situation where you get frostbite. Like no. on this pig's tongue. Even if Santa double, triple dog dares triple you. Triple dog dare you. You don't want to do it. To the North Pole. Yeah. All right. Thanks don't very do much. It. All right. Carl Nelson, uh, always surprising here. Let's take a look at the times for the Imagination Station. If you want to head down there Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 5. Today, noon to 5. That is on Sunday. So thanks very much sure. for, um, you know, teaching us and grossing us out simultaneously. No that problem. is this week's Imagine It. Uh, one last tongue yeah, stick. Don't, hey. don't try the tongue on the pole. No, not no, good. not even anyone else's. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sick to my stomach. All right. <laughs> just, well, he just mission grabs accomplished. It with his bare hand, even. Yeah. Uh.